Yo, let's go fam, my name's Tommy and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about the so rare $500,000 Premier League competition that starts this weekend and runs until the end of January. There is lots of cash prizes, I'm going to give you all my strategies, show you my cards that I've just bought ready for it to see how much profit I can get out of it. So if you like this kind of content, then please like the video and just like the color of my eyes will turn blue. So, so rare. Here is the medium article and basically there's 500k in total cash rewards. I'll leave a link in the video for this medium article if you want to go and check it out. But I'm just going to briefly go over it because la 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 the game week schedule starts November 25th which is this weekend and it runs till January the 30th next year and it total covers 11 game weeks let's go these games are actually not included in it because they might have double game weeks which would affect it basically this one's been postponed as well but anyway all this information if you want to go through it at your own leisure because there's a lot to digest I will leave the link obviously boom limited four cards you need from this season so that's one team you can enter and the cash rewards are 135k, which is 13.550 each week. So you've got 11 chances and you can also enter up to three lineups. Of course, you can play rare or super rare or unique if you've got a lot of money. But I mean, the prices of the limited cards have gone up recently. So I mean, it isn't cheap to even get a great team for the limited. But basically, here's the cash prizes broken down. So if you come first, you'll get $1,000, second $500, $300, and then it's just tiered all the way down. But here is what's exciting is you only need to come in the top 800 to earn $8. Top 410, so there's not much of a big difference. But I mean, obviously, if you come up here, then you're laughing really because you're going to be, I mean, obviously, if you come first, the chances of coming first will be very difficult. I've been playing so rare since the Premier League cards have come out. The highest I've ever come is 12, and that was quite recently. Like, it's very hard to come first, um, but I mean, obviously, someone's got to come first. <laughs> and then, obviously, the rare ones, which is even more money, and the cards are even more expensive than the unique and the one of ones or whatever they're called. Boom. So basically, they've got a lot going off. So uh, is doing really, really well. So here's my gallery. Bang. Now, I have just been buying a load of Fulham players, which you can see. We've got, why are you buying all these Fulham players? And I bought a Matoma, who's currently out. James Gohana from Everton midfielder. And then I have bought these two because I needed some strikers. So like this one was the most expensive, Erland Haaland. Like, obviously, this guy is probably the best striker in the world. He scores a lot of goals, basically everything. He plays up front on his own. Man City are probably the best team on their day in the world as well. In the Premier League, easily on their day, they're the best team. They score a lot of goals. And then Hong Men Son, also very, very good for Tottenham. Plays as a central striker. Again, he's got a higher rating than Haaland. So, I mean, literally, what does that tell you? And then I've got all these Fulham players <laughs> because I won this reward of Bernd Leno this was like, when was it? Seven days ago. Bang. And it's like $50. It's gone up to 60 odd dollars now. I could sell it. And then I was like, right, well, let's have a look at Fulham's fixtures. Because before, these are all the cards that I had. And these were just ones that I was buying for like a couple of dollars. And I bought a Jared Braithwaite. Again, I haven't really got any good cards for this season. So it was literally spur of the moment thing. I won that reward. I'm like, right, look at Fulham's fixtures. They've got some really, really easy fixtures. If you go into the Barclays Premier League and you go on to Fulham, and we can have a look at like Burn Leno and then just go on fixtures and look at all these greens. This is the official Barclays Premier League saying that home to Wolves is an easy fixture for them. Obviously, away at Liverpool is hard. And then they've got all these greens coming up, which is really, really good for a team like Fulham. They are not a very good team, but they're like, they should survive. They should pick up some wins. And if you stack out your team of Fulham players, if they win, you should get like a decent amount of prizes. The good thing is you can enter three teams. Like, so, and you can play one goal goalkeeper from the previous season if you haven't got goalkeepers. Goalkeepers are generally the most expensive. I do have an Allison, and then I've got a load of Dean Hendersons. <laughs> Don't talk to me about Dean Henderson or Vasquez. I mean, he plays with Chef Wednesday. Um, anyway, I've just bought another Dean Henderson as well because I think it's a great stack. I bought it for $8.92. 
He is currently injured. Sam Johnson's playing for them and he's doing well. But I feel this guy is definitely going to be like a good long-term player. And I was buying the older cards for like $20, $30. So if to buy one for $8.92, I was like, I'll buy that. And then Destiny Doggy, he's out for the next one as well. But he's only 20. He's Italian. He plays for Italy. He plays for Tottenham. Tottenham play really attacking wing backs. I did watch the Fulham Tottenham game where Tottenham won 2 0, and Fulham did look really good. Talking about Fulham, we're going back to Harry Wilson. He just played for Wales today and did really well, got an assist, got a good high score of like 80. Anthony Robinson plays for the USA as a left back, he's quite attacking. Uh, Tom Kearney doesn't play. And then the strikers, the problem with Fulham is they're toothless in attack. Like against Tottenham, they didn't look out of place playing Tottenham, and Tottenham were on a good roll at the time, but they got nothing up front. I mean, Timothy Castagna, he's good. He played for Leicester, Belgium, international. I don't know about this guy. Just because Ja Paulinho is out, I've decided to buy this guy. But I bought all these cards because you get an 8% bonus, collection bonus here. So, I mean, I'm not going to play these strikers because they're just rubbish. They really are bad. They've got, this guy's injured as well now since I bought him. A lot of my players are injured. Tom Kenny is the captain. Bobby Decorda Reed is probably a fringe player. You could go out and buy like a William who's like 35 or something. <laughs> he's probably got a couple of seasons. He probably will go till he's 38. He's so fit. And he's really good. He did look good against Tottenham. But he's only scored one and got one assist. They just don't have a good striker. They've got a generally good team. They've moved the ball well under Marco Silva. But they haven't got a good striker. That's why they're struggling so much. And then this guy is young. He's from um, from Man United originally. Went to Everton and they've got Man United this week. He's been doing pretty well. He's got some good scores. And I haven't got any midfielders. That's why I just went and bought Matoma. Matoma's been struggling recently. If I click on him and let's have a look. Because literally he's not in form. And that's why he was so cheap. And now he's injured as well. He's got a knock. Literally, he's been doing nothing in his last fight, so it's not good. But if we go back and look at his previous scores, he's definitely capable of getting a high 90 or an 80 on a good game week. Like, is he blowing a bit hot and cold? I mean, hopefully he picks himself up. But for $30, it was within my budget because I've been selling some NFTs in OpenSea and putting it into this, and now I've blown my budget. I've literally got whatever that is, $7, which is not a lot. I've been buying the basketball cards as well, which doesn't help. I should just focus on like one, but I really enjoy like my two sports are football and basketball. So number one is football and then basketball was my second sport growing up. And I just love watching the NBA, how explosive it is. So I wanted to play the NBA one as well. So I get to register a lot of teams, which is exciting. I've also registered these teams. So let's go into my lineups and have a look what I've been doing. So I thought about zigging while others were zagging, like, you know, concentrate on the Premier League specialist because everyone will be concentrating on this. But to be honest, there's 1,440 and 1,460. So they're literally pretty matched one for one, like for like, of how many people have entered each competition. So I was like, well, maybe I'm just going to play this. And then this is a good lineup, I feel, as well. Like Edison, Levi Colwell, Easy, Brennan Johnson, and Darwin Nunes. They haven't got great fixtures, but who knows? Anyway, so here's my Fulham stack. But then I decided to put Tottenham because I can't play one of Fulham's strikers. So I've had to bring Hung Men Sun in. And then I brought Pedro Porro in as well because all my Fulham players are just rubbish. And I'm like, well, I've got these three guys. So if Fulham do well, they're all going to score well. And obviously, if Tottenham do well, because they're playing Aston Villa at home. I know Tottenham have been struggling a little bit, but hopefully they'll get back to their winning ways and smash a few goals in without Madison. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. But Fulham are at home to Wolves and Tottenham are at home to Villa. So, I mean, will I win $8? Will I win more? I don't know. If you like this kind of content, then subscribe to my channel. I'll do an updated video each week and I'll show you my lineups. I've got some more NFTs for sale in OpenSea. And if they sell like some expensive ones, I might buy some more so rare cards. But I mean, I've got the bug and I love this game so much. It's so enjoyable. Out of all the NFT games I play, I really like this one the most. And then here's my second team. This one, again, is a bit of a mixed bag. So I've got Allison in goal, away to Man City, doesn't look good. Fulham at home to Wolves. So I've got this one, which looks good. Burnley at home looks pretty good. He's a solid midfielder. And then I've got the main man, Erling Haaland, as my captain. 
basically home to Liverpool again. He goes off and scores like three goals, no problem. Or he could have a stinker, who knows. And then I've got this guy against his old team, James Garner, plays centre mid. Again, Everton are a mixed bag. I'm not really convinced. My midfield is letting me down really at the minute. If I was going to make like an ultimate team, I'd get like Saka or something. But then you can't because of the cap 270. And then I've just got this, which is all these players aren't playing. But then I've put my captain as Matoma in case he does play and gets some points. He's got 50-50 chance. And then another good thing to go into is like play sharper. I've discovered this website. You go into here and then you can literally like see the Man City, Liverpool or any team. You go onto it. And then they've got this guy that predicts it who's like an expert for the premiership or whatever so rare premiership obviously employed from them so edison's got a 50 50 chance or this guy the german keeper like kyle walker's pretty nailed on they haven't even given us any options and then again like so you've got matteo kovacevic or rico lewis i think kovacevic will play over rico lewis because he's so young but pff, who knows they've got it 50 50. rodrigo's nailed on phil foden or maybe like Grealish, yeah Alvarez is nailed on, and obviously Haaland's nailed on. And Jeremy Doku seems pretty much nailed on, or if they bring Grealish in, but Grealish hasn't been playing much recently. Anyway, and then again, you can go into Liverpool or the other teams. Maybe you do have to pay for it, actually. You may only get one team, I'm not so sure. But this tool, this tool, and so rare data, which I haven't got up at the minute, but you do have to pay for so rare data. $10 a month or something. All those things, if you're really into it, are good. I mean, look at my FPL team. All these guys are out. I do need to sort this out. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm not that bothered about my FPL team. I only really care about this because I can get genuine rewards. I feel more excited about it. I'm just really enjoying playing the game. So if you got it to the end of the video, you have to like the video. And you have to subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you this great, so rare content. And if you like me enough, then ring the bell so you never miss a video. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.